What's coming up next? It's Weeknight Update with Ellie Mueller, then the morning show starring Rebel Wilson, and extremely early with Edward Scott. That's all still to come on Nick at Night. From the glorious YouTube Dojo, and yes, I said YouTube Dojo, so you can celebrate the fact that this is not on Hulu. It's Week of Apple, Ellie Mueller, and now, a man who will never be on Hulu, even if you pay him $500,000. I mean, seriously, you have a great thing going here, up on the front over here, and on Nick at Night. Come on, don't mess it up. It's Mr. Ellie Cunningham Mueller! Ha! Welcome to Week 9 Update! I'm Ellie Cunningham Mueller, why is it all about myself? Alright. The theme song and the uh, segment holes were made by Hannah Gale, blah blah blah, you know the rest. Uh, shout out to You know, those, uh, most of the, uh, the people who, uh, really need the love online, and that's why we are calling them, uh, shout out to Okay, Esther's Breeze with uh, tips for uh, people who are uh, getting older. Alright, Mild Shocker, great uh, voiceover artist. And Vloom Vloom with uh, interesting uh, videos that you need to uh, check out. Alright, did I get everything situated? Alright, I believe that I did. Okay, that's a relief. Alright, now. Ladies and gentlemen, what's up? What's up with Hulu, a streaming platform that is out of control? Wait, is that even around now? I mean, seriously. For some reason, Disney uh, CEO Bob Chapek really wants to buy and own Hulu. Really? Can Disney stop buying and owning stuff? I mean, come on, we don't have much left that Disney does not own. Yeah. I mean, what's next? Huh? Disney's going to uh, own the freaking uh, pianos and things like that? Is Disney going to uh, own the uh, Motown uh, record? Is Disney going to uh, own uh, every TV uh, network we have on our TV space? What games? No! And hey, we need to talk about this. Hulu has just gotten rid of a show that ABC had dropped. Maggie. Yikes. But wait, here's why. Rosie and Isabella Mercado want their own shows. Greedy. Those ladies are greedy. And before you ask me, folks, no, they're not watching this uh, show. If they are, they are. Or if they uh, were watching this show, then they would have commented uh, a long time ago. Alright, so I think we're so I think we're safe. Now, MP, elephant, let's go. It's top of the top eight list. Let's go. Top eight list. Here we go. Thank you, Mr. Miller. Tonight's category, top eight things that Hulu will have next year. Number eight, a tree. Number seven, fish. Number six, a machine. Number five, a talking car. Number four, a computer. Number three, an armpit. Number two, Rosie Mercado. And number one, Isabel Mercado. Wait, who are Rosie and Isabel Mercado? Uh, they're models of some sort. Uh huh. That figures. <laughs> yeah. Alright, thank you very much, boys. Well, you know what to do. Like it up. Let's count up the comments, please. You know, be, be nice now. Uh, subscribe, ring the bell, share, and you know the rest. We'll be back up to this. This is still week now update. Now, here it is. You're violent. Right. You're an average Joe. You flow so sloppy. Get some better rounds. You best lay off me. Done. Wait. so many people on TV trying to look like Empire, it reminds me of the story about the guy who bought a rowboat and a captain's hat to go with it. Went home that night wearing his new hat and said, hey mom, dad, look, I'm a captain. 
Papa says, son, by me, you're a captain. By mama, you're a captain. But by other captains, you're no captain. The point is, you can't be an empire just by looking like empire. You've got to deliver like empire. Good carpeting at a fair price in 72 hours. So you call us. 580 Because nobody else is empire. boys. Hey, hey, nice to see you. Nice to see you, boss. Man, the, uh, the autumnal equinox uh, is uh, pretty cool. I mean, it has been pretty cool. Oh, yes, 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 yes. First day of autumn, yes. Or at least here in the uh, northern hemisphere. Now, how do you feel about uh, autumn? I feel great. You know, uh, I'm starting to see leaves change colors and everything else. Of course, pretty soon it's going to start, uh, I mean, pretty soon we're going to have to start uh, getting ready to uh, break uh, the leaves and everything else. Yes, yes, yes. And of course, it's going to get uh, pretty, uh, pretty chilly. By the way, this brings uh, us to, uh, you know, a little something we like to call a moment for everyone. Now, if, uh, if you don't mind. All right. Okay. More for everyone. Uh, so, uh, there are some people out there who might want to uh, go uh, to the moon. Well, here's the thing. Okay? It's not that, you know, going to the moon isn't exciting. It is, but, you know, it should be, uh, it should be noted that the moon can be extremely chilly. All right? You know, and... If you were, if you are exposed to a really cold weather for a, a long period of time, then you're going to get sick. You know, and because you're going to be on the moon and things like that, I don't know what else to tell you except, you know, uh, <laughs> I hope that you all have your immune systems in check because I'll tell you something. You know, after you get yourselves warmed up and things like that, you may want to, uh, you know, take some uh, precautionary uh, steps to make sure you don't, that you don't get anybody sick, okay? You know, we're still dealing with uh, a bunch of uh, pandemics uh, on this planet. You know, and perhaps a few more if you uh, count, you know, uh, the big one that has been uh, lurking around since 2020. Look, all I'm really trying to say is, you know, think five times before you even think about going to outer space. All right? And before you go outside, uh, you know, in the chilly weather, you know, because uh, chilly weather is uh, coming towards us, all right? Make sure that you bundle up, okay? I mean, I know that it's all common sense, but... Come on, think. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's uh, have a little talking time. Let's go, huh? What time is it? It's talking time. So, let's talk about it. Oh, boy. Oh, good heavens. This is rough. Just when you thought that Disney could not, you know, uh, be any more controlling, you know, uh, Bob Chapek, uh, the CEO of Disney, goes up and says that he'd like to uh, own Comcast's 33% uh, uh, stake in Hulu, you know, by 2024. Uh-uh, I just, no, no, no. Oy vey. Oh boy, just when Disney can't get any more control. I know. You gotta listen to this, man. Disney is only Hulu.
Yeah. I'm sorry, it's just that every time... Uh... By the way, folks, Hulu used to be uh, just a website that you go to uh, for uh, you know, a clip from uh, the shows that have aired the pre uh, during the previous uh, day or week or evening or whatever, right? Right. Then Hulu became uh, a streaming service, right? Okay. Comcast, you know, you know, it pretty much owns Hulu now. But apparently it has this uh, mutual agreement with Disney to sell its minority Hulu stake, you know, in January of 2024. That's about 18 months from now, give or take. Oh. And Comcast CEO Brian Roberts said this. Hulu is a phenomenal business. It has wonderful content, and I believe it, will, if it was for sale, you know, put up for sale, Comcast would be interested. Oh! Okay! We've had enough uh, big uh, companies trying to take over uh, you know, existing uh, platforms as it is, okay? We've had enough of those. You know, and, and by the way, if Disney says it wants to own uh, a stake in the whole thing, it doesn't mean that, that Disney wants to own a little bit of it. No, Disney wants the whole pie, okay? And for those of you who don't know, Disney has been owning almost everything lately. I mean everything. We already know that owns ABC. We already know that it owns uh, ESPN. ABC Family, yeah, I mean, you're free for them, whatever. But now, it owns Fox. It owns Fox Sports. It owns Fox News. It owns FS1. It owns FX. FXX. Oh, my goodness. If it tries to go back uh, to E, I'm, I'm going to lose my mind. Okay? Disney cannot own uh, aim, anything else, okay? Disney cannot own uh, any more uh, platforms. No more! Oh, and while we're uh, thinking about that, let's think about this. You know, Maggie was uh, a show that was supposed to air on ABC in the summer. But, this past January, you know what, Disney uh, gave that show to Hulu, right? You know, and, and Hulu, instead of just airing the episodes one a week, I mean, one episode a week and things like that, guess what? All the episodes of uh, Maggie aired all at once, because apparently that's what uh, streaming uh, platforms do. You know, they just air all the episodes, uh, you know, back to back to back to back to back, you know, in a marathon of sorts, and then they would uh, try and get uh, people to watch all of those uh, shows. And I'm like... Really? <laughs> Streaming services don't really pay that well, okay? I mean, jeez Louise. No, it's about psychic uh, trying to uh, navigate the world of dating and blah, blah, blah. But here's the thing. Here's the thing, right? Now, on September 9th, Hulu just canceled it. Now, ABC ordered the whole thing uh, to series in May of last year. You know, almost a year and a half ago. Of course, uh, Disney uh, decided to try to show out on Hulu. And in January, that's when uh, everything else started to uh, take place. All 13 episodes uh, were dumped onto the platform on July 6th. And it has received a very mixed response. Which goes to show you. That if uh, people uh, don't uh, like uh, the streaming service, uh, or if it doesn't like you know, the show that's on the streaming service, no matter how uh, many people watch it or uh, talk about it on uh, social media, you know, it's going to be gone. You know what I mean? Man. I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, tomorrow night we're going to deal with forgiveness, and I'm hoping that Dan Weezer will uh, show up. 
you know, but even if by the end it doesn't show up with anything new, I got uh, something else, uh, you know, planned, and, uh, you know, just tune in tomorrow anyway, okay? That's the news. I'm Alski, for all by for all. Folks, I have some breaking news, and this is a good type of breaking news. The camera lady and the color bean crew will be joining me right here on Week Not Update. You know, along with the toys and uh, the local state ducks, and it's going to be fantastic. You're going to love what uh, they're going to do to help uh, to help me out with this program. And I can't wait to see what's going to happen. All right. And once again, you know, I'll see you tomorrow. That's news. I'm out, skis. Bye, 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 bye.